Alright, so at this point I've recorded all of my audio tracks and I'm pretty happy with that. However, I'd like to add some drums and maybe a nice rock organ sound to flesh out this track. Now I don't know about you, but I don't have access to a drum kit or an organ just lying around and I'm pretty certain my other half and my bank account would be pretty displeased if I brought those things home. Lucky for us, Mixcraft includes many high quality virtual instruments we can use in our productions. These cover everything from basic drum and instrument sounds to world instruments and synthesizers. So, just about everything you'd need is included right inside of Mixcraft. To learn more about what instruments are included with your version of Mixcraft, you can check out Acoustica.com for more information. So, we've already configured our project to have two virtual instrument tracks here. We can see these with this little keyboard icon. However, if you need to add another or haven't added your virtual instrument tracks yet, you can go to the top and select Add Track, and then select Insert Virtual Instrument Track. By default, these will load up with an acoustic piano sound, but before we can begin using the virtual instruments, we'll need to make sure that our MIDI controller is connected. To do that, we'll go up here to the top and click the Preferences icon. Then, over here in the Preferences window, we'll go down to MIDI. As always, Mixcraft is pretty smart and should have this configured automatically for you. In my case, I see right here that my Keylab Mark 261 is already connected and it's active, so I'm good to go and I could just click OK. If you have more than one device connected here like I do, you can activate or deactivate these different devices by using the checkbox. Then, down here in the middle there are some more advanced configuration settings, but we won't need any of these. So at this point I'm good to go, and I can click OK. Now that I've got my MIDI keyboard set up, if we play it while the track is selected, we should hear the virtual instrument. Let's try it out. Awesome! Our MIDI controller is set up and working, so we're good to go. If you don't have a MIDI controller, you can instead use Mixcraft's musical typing keyboard. This is a really cool feature that allows you to use your computer's keyboard as your MIDI controller to play virtual instruments. To access this feature, we can go up to View, and then select Musical Typing, or use Ctrl-Alt-K. This will open the musical typing window, so as you can see we have different labeled keys here, and these correspond to keys on my computer's keyboard. We also have keys tied to other functions like pitch bend or modulation, we can shift the range up and down an octave using Z or X, you can shift the range by an individual note, you can control your velocity, and you can use the shift key to use sustained notes. Let's go ahead and play a few keys on my keyboard to see how it works. And that's the musical typing function, so this is a great way to access your virtual instruments and play them by hand rather than having to draw them in note for note. When you're done using musical typing, you can go up to the top and click the X to close the window. Like I said earlier, I would like to use some drums and a nice rock organ sound for this track, so we'll need to change out the instruments as they're both currently acoustic pianos. To change the instruments, we'll click on the keyboard icon here, and that will open the virtual instrument window. As you can see here in the virtual instrument window, Mixcraft can sort all the instruments and sounds by category, and then over on the right, you can view all the things in that category. So we can select all, or we could go to VSTI instruments to view only the available instruments, or we can scroll down further and go to specific sounds. Let's start things off by looking for a drum kit. Let's go down here to percussion and drum kits, then let's find a nice drum kit. To change the sound, we'll go over to the preset and then click the preset we'd like to access. Let's try the studio drum kit. Excellent, I think that sounds perfect for this track. We can close the virtual instrument window here, then go to our second virtual instrument track, click the keyboard icon once more, and now let's find a nice rock organ sound we can use. We can scroll down here to keyboards and organ, then let's find a nice organ sound. Here we go, rock organ. Let's click on that and take a listen. Right on, I think that's a good choice. So now we can close the window and we're ready to go. At this point, you should now be comfortable with adding and selecting virtual instruments, and you should have your MIDI controller configured or know how to use Mixcraft's musical typing mode instead. In the next video, we'll start recording these instruments and then editing the MIDI data. So that's it for this one. Thanks for watching.